Good afternoon. Is that Kathy Ung? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, good. Now we got someone else here. So now we got two more, two people here. Welcome everybody. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll start in about three more minutes. We'll wait a couple more minutes for more people to join. Can, can uh, you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, okay, good, okay, good. Just wanna make sure.
Okay, so I guess maybe we'll, we'll go ahead and start now. We, got, we have about 17 people here. So that's good for the first class. All right, so um, yeah, wh why don't I start with, why don't we start with introductions, okay? So let's, uh, I'll start off with myself. Okay, so my name is Edward Bacon, but you can just call me, just call me Eddie. Uh, Eddie is my nickname, okay? So as I, as I mentioned before, uh, I teach at, uh, here on the screen, so Rangsit University International College, okay? So right, right here where it says Rangsit University International College, okay? I've been, I've been teaching here for about over, over seven years. So I came here in 2014. And before that, I was an English teacher in Japan. Uh, I taught English there for about so eight years, eight years, okay? Um, so I, I speak conversational Japanese, uh, but I, I, I don't speak Thai. So I, I know a few words. Okay, now why don't we start off with, let's see here. So I'm gonna start off from the list here. Uh, how about Ang Zin Hatet? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so can, can you introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Yes, my name is Ang Zin Hatet. Yes. Okay. I am from Tanin Thai. And tell me, tell me, and also tell me your, um, your, your nickname and then your, um, um, let's say your hobby, okay? Yeah, you can call me Ao. And my hobby is uh, traveling, yeah. I like traveling. Okay. Okay, good, thank you. Next on the list, it's A, Nad, sorry, A Nadi Chen. A Nadi Chen, are you there? Yes. Okay, so can you introduce yourself? My name is Indi Chen. I'm from Tanindai. My hobby is listen to music. Ooh, so who, who's your favorite musician? Uh, Taylor Swift, yeah. Oh, Taylor Swift, okay. All right, okay, thank you. Next Thank on, you. Okay, uh, let me see here. Next on the list is how about how about Hanin Nandar Kya? So H N I N Hanin Nandar Kya. Are you there? No, maybe away from your computer. How about how about Hanin Yi Mon? So, so, okay. Okay. And can you introduce yourself? My name is Nen Yimon. You can call me Nen. My hobby is want to go abroad. And what, where, where do you want to go abroad to? Australia. Oh, why, why Australia? <laughs> want to study there. Oh, okay. And do you want to, do you want to eat Eat a kangaroo hamburger? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next person on the list is, um, is it uh, Husumyat? So H S U M Y A T? Yes. Sir. Okay. And can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Sumya Moon. You can call me Susu. My hobby is I want to be teacher. Oh, and what, what do you want to teach? Children in, in my village. I, but like what subject? Do you want to teach English or math, science? English or more language. Okay. All right. Sounds nice. Okay. Next is, um, is it? Kathy Ong. Kathy Ong. I guess so. Uh, yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Of course. Uh, my name is Kathy Ong, but you can call me Lee Song. I come from Mon State. 
found down sheets. My hobby is climbing mountains. Oh, climbing mountains. Okay. All right. Sounds very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And next yeah. is going to be how about Kain Q Miat? Kain Q Miat? Hello. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah. My name is Kain Q Miat, but you can call me Ju. And then uh, my hobby is eating. <laughs> oh, eating. Me too. So what, what, <laughs> what, 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 uh, what uh, do you like to eat? Mm, maybe hot pot. Oh, hot pot. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Next yeah. is, is it Kie Sorn? Kie Sorn? Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Okay. I'm Jason, and I'm from Mustang. And yeah, I'm living in Malamiai now. Then I might have been traveling. I like to travel around the countries and around the town. Yes. Okay. And where, uh, where after COVID, where do you want to travel to next? Oh, <laughs> I want to travel Kalo. Do you know Kalo? Is it in Myanmar? Okay. It's in, yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Next on the list, it is, is it May Thazin Fio? May, are you there? May Thazin Fio. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Chisan. I'm from Queen's State, but now I'm living in Mosaic. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. And then, is it May Thazin Fio? Hello, Chair. My name is Medicine Pyo. I'm from Utah. You can call me Pyo. My hobby is blocker. Uh, your hobby is what? Blocker. Rocker? Blocker. A oh, blogger, <laughs> blogger. Okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Sounds yes. that sounds nice. And so what do what do you blog about? Uh eek oh eek blogger. Um, you said that is yeah okay okay all right sounds nice okay next is how about um okay mem psych hata mem psych hata can you hear me no okay they're not here okay how about how about min lawi marn No, they're not here either. Okay, how no. about yes, yes. Hello, chair. My name is Lin Wiman, and my hobby is watching movies. Okay, and what what kind of movies do you like? Do you like to watch? Mm, uh, Korean and Thai, also Chinese movies. Okay, all right, very nice. Okay, next, how about is, um. Min Mon Chan Ong. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, my name is Min Mon Chan Ong. I am from Kali Village, Kien Stai, Kogai Township. My hobby is Kombosa. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next is how about. Min Oak So Min Hatet. Yes, sir. My name is Min Oak So Min Hat. Uh, you can call me Min Oak So or Min Hat. I should like. Um, I like to sing a song, dance, and draw picture. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. Next is how about um, uh, is it Min Phone? Min phone. Min phone. Oh, no, you're. Hello. 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 
My name is Mimpo Yi. I am from Dubai. My hobby is play football. Oh, play football. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Next, how about uh, is it Pew uh, Pew Point Sun? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. My name is Pooh Sen. You can call me Poo. And I am from Yugo Village in Mulmian Township. Yeah, I love to listen to music and watching movie. Okay, all right, great, thank you. Next is how about Psych Mun? Psych Mun? Hello, Sarah. Hello. Yeah, my name is Psych Mun. I come from Dongbin Village in Township Mun State. I love to create video and try to travel in. Okay, all right, great, thank you. Next is how about is is it Thandar Thandar Shuiyi? Thandar Thandar, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you introduce yourself, please? I am Thandar Shuiyi. Uh, you can call me Thandu. My I'm from Monstake. My hobby is in teaching. Teaching. And so what, what, what do you like to teach? English. Uh, like, do you like, uh, do you, do you like to teach English or do you like to teach math or science? English and math. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. And is there, is there anybody else? who hasn't introduced themselves yet? Anybody else? Did, did I miss anybody? No. No, okay. All right, okay, so now. Hello there. Hello there, who is this? My name is Pocado. I'm learning to be like Township Monster. My hobby is play guitar. Oh, play guitar. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anybody else that would like to introduce themselves that hasn't yet? Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, my name is Jolin Tap. I'm from Yangdong Village. My hobby is to listen to music and watch a movie. Ooh, okay. And what, tell me, what's your number one favorite movie? Marvel. Uh, Marvel movie. Uh, superhero movie. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Oh, thank you. All right. And is there anybody else that hasn't introduced themselves yet? Nobody else? Okay. Hello, teacher. Oh, yes, yes. My name is Man Sai Tho. Mm -hmm. I am from Kota Buela Ye Daung She, Monstai. My hobby is playing volleyball. Oh, volleyball. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So thank you. Thank you very much. All thank right. You. So, yes. And anybody else? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. My name is Man Ang Bi. I come from the main town. Mm -hmm. My hobby is play football and mobile game. Play mobile game. Oh, okay. Oh, mobile games. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yes. And is there anybody else? Anybody else hasn't introduced themselves yet? Yes. Okay. Hi. Hello. Yes. Uh, my name is Nyanto Ong. I am from Tamagani Village. Uh, my hobby is playing music instrument. Yes, thank you. Which which musical instrument do you play? I play guitar and piano, flute, a little bit. Oh wow! Drum. Oh, many drums. Wow. Okay, that sounds very nice. Thank you. All right, and is there anybody else? Okay. All right, that's good. All right, so. 
what I'm going to do is, first of all, let me, I, I want to go over and explain uh, how you will, um, um, I'll, I'll explain the website and how you will go around and to choose your peer mentor, okay? So first, let me, how about, let me post this in the chat box here. Where's the chat at? Okay, so th this is the main page, okay? Uh, and, and it's gonna look different for on your computer versus on your mobile phone. Um, but, okay, but first of all, I wanna say, say that it's not finished yet, okay? But it, I plan to have it finished by Sunday night, okay? Uh, but how, how you're gonna choose your mentor is what you do is you go here, the, the main page, then you click on student peer mentor. You click this, okay? And then this is gonna have all the, all the times, okay, that, that, that's available, all right? And so let's say, for example, if you wanna do it Monday morning, if you wanna have a mentor Monday morning, okay? You click here, okay? So these are some of the people um, where it has coming soon is I, I, I haven't gotten their information yet, but I will get it in, in the next couple of days, okay? What I've finished so far is Monday a.m. and Monday p.m., okay? The, these, are, these are finished. Um, but I, I, what I'm going to do is for Tuesday, and I'm going to update Tuesday and Wednesday. I plan to update tonight, okay? And then for Thursday and Friday, I plan to update tomorrow, okay? So my, my goal is to have it fully updated, uh, by by Sunday night, okay? And so at that time, you can go about choosing uh, who you want your mentor to be, all right? So we have, um, in, this, in this study, I wanna show you here, um, how many people we have in this study? Let me see here, right here. So here, right now, only 57 of you have finished the pretest, okay? So before we separate the groups, I need 60, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna extend the deadline to complete uh, the IELTS writing pretest, okay? So if, you, if anybody has not finished it, please finish it by tonight, okay? Um, and then what I'll do is on Sunday morning, tomorrow morning, or, or as soon as I get 60 people to complete the uh, pretest, then I'll separate everybody into two groups, AM and PM, okay? So please, if you haven't done that yet, please fill out um, this, um, this uh, pretest. Because I noticed that on the, on the um, uh, Facebook group, there's like 77 people in the group. So um, we, we, we still need some more people uh, to, to complete the pretest, all right? So what you do, let's say, for example, um, let's say you, you go this one here. Okay, and let's say you go through this and you say, oh, this guy, he looks nice. So, but, but you wanna hear about it. Maybe you like the nickname Axel. All right, so let's say maybe you wanna find out more about him. So you just click here, doink, okay? Then it goes to his, um, hey, everybody. his video. Axel is from China. And this year is my fourth year to study Yangtze University. And my hobby is play guitar, listen to music, and work. This is me. Okay, all right. So actually, I, I was Axel's teacher maybe three or four, maybe almost four years ago now. Um, so, um, so I've seen his English skills has gotten a lot better because um, when I when I first when I was his first teacher. His English level was at a very beginning. Now it's at a, now it's at a B2 level. So it's, his English is pretty good. Um, so then we have other people here. Uh, you, you can choose. But let's go, let's see if we go back to, to um, the PM here. Okay. Then a lot of these, their information is not up yet. But let's say, oh, this person, film. Okay. She was in my class last year. She's very nice. So she's from Thailand. So you click here. Okay.
Okay, yeah. So film, uh, film was my my student last summer. Okay, and uh, can can everybody hear me? Okay, I got a message here. Can can everybody hear me? Can, can you guys hear me? Okay. I think it, your voice is okay, but the one you showed on a video, no one can hear. I think I cannot hear oh, from you from here. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry about that. Okay. All right. Maybe that's a part of, of Zoom. Uh, but yeah. So um, basically, what's going to happen is what you want to do is you want to go on go onto this website. First of all, you click you click student peer mentor. Okay. And then you click the time that you want. Okay. Like right right here. Okay. And then let's say, let's say you like, you like Axel. Okay. You like Axel. So then what you need to do, you need to find out who his team leader is. So that his team leader is May. Okay. Then what you do is you go back to the student management team. Then here you look for May and here's May. It's the first one. Uh, May, she, uh, she's also from Myanmar, uh, but she's our student manager or student assistant director. Uh, so she, she's the one that's in charge of this online center, okay? And you can also get her, see her introduction as well, okay? But I guess, but I guess, but I guess you can't hear her voice, but um, she's very nice. So what you do is you contact her. So you can contact her if you have line, you can contact her online, or you can send her a message on Facebook. And what you do is you send her a message and you say, oh yes, I, I, would, like, I would like to um, have Axel as a, um, as, a, uh, uh, a, a, as a mentor, okay? If you look here, Axel was at nine o'clock on, on Monday, okay? And so you can choose him as, a, as a mentor, okay? If that's what you want, okay? Just, just let, let, let your, let, let your um, the, the team leader know uh, who you would like um, to, to be your peer mentor for, for that week, okay? Um, and so what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll have the website finished probably um, Sunday night, okay? So maybe go, go, go there Sunday night and find out who you want your mentor to be, all right? Um, and then, and then in the, for the next weeks, let's say for your, uh, peer mentor for your second week, maybe contact your mentor by Friday night before Friday night. Um, because what's going to happen is maybe some of the, some of the popular peer mentors will, will be taken up quickly. Okay. So, um, for the first week, contact your, the, uh, the team leader and let them know which which uh, peer mentor you would like. Because each, if you look here, uh, for each, um, each, peer, each peer mentor has a different team leader. So like this one has Yua, okay? And this one here has Sovida, okay? Um, so first week, go, go to the website to, uh, tomorrow night and then choose your mentor for the first week. But then for the second week, maybe, uh, contact the team leader uh, by Friday night um, of, the, of so like next Friday contact them or be by next Friday by next Friday contact the team leader to let them know which which uh, which peer mentor you would like okay so what's going to happen is you're going to get two rounds of feedback okay is you're going to get feedback uh, on your writing from your your peer mentor and also um okay and also the uh your your um team leader so you get two rounds of feedback okay all right so now let us go ahead and now does anybody have any questions about this any questions no okay all right so now let yes Cho chosan um, or on yeah yeah, it's, this is just me. Like, uh, yeah, I just wondering, like, uh, how many sections do you have? Like, uh, where you have another sections? I mean, like, uh, there's only 27, 28 students showed up, right? Where you have another section for this? Uh, well, no, that, that, that's just for today. Yeah, the, the, the class should have. Oh, okay. 
Um, yeah, ho hopefully mo more students will join. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. So, so for my class, my class is gonna be every Saturday at, at, at the same time, okay? Uh, but then during the week, uh, from Monday through Friday, you can choose who you want your peer mentor to be. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now I'm on, I'm going to share another screen here. We're going to start with the class here. Okay. Here we go. All right. So, so today what we're going to talk about is the introductory paragraph for the IELTS based opinion essay. All right, so for today's agenda, first we're gonna talk about facts versus opinions, paraphrasing and using synonyms, thesis statements, and then we're gonna get into the introductory paragraph. All right, okay, so how about, I'm gonna choose somebody here. Let me see who's here. So how about first one on the list is, so is it Ong Pie? Ong Pie, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, so can, can, can you read the screen, please? Okay. It's, the follow, it's the following statement a FACTR. Fan or of okay. So Ovinia, Ovinia. Okay, good. Now, can you read the next line, please? Yeah. So Abraham. Abra Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Lincoln was a writer, a writer of the United States. Okay. Now tell me, was it a fact? or opinion yeah which one fact or opinion first fact let's see here yes okay very good good job next how about um set hatar nue can you can you read this please set hatar can you read this your microphone, can, can you turn your microphone on? Can, can you turn your microphone on? Winston Churchill was the greatest prime minister of the United Kingdom. Ooh, kingdom, okay, what, uh, what do you think? Was the greatest prime minister? The greater prime minister opinion opinion let's see here yeah yeah teacher yes okay good very nice yeah. yes yeah. so now whenever we use the word the phrase the greatest that's always going to be an opinion because what you think is yeah. great different great than what i think opinion. is great okay all right okay next how about how about cho san cho san are you there yes Okay, can you read this, please? Movies are generally more is interesting than both. Mm, Opinion. Let me see here. Okay, good. Okay, now, now Chosan, I want you, can, can you choose somebody? Mm, who, who do you choose? Nin Dajo. Okay, so you said Nin, Nin? Nin Dajo. Nin Dajo. Sorry, are, are you there? Nin, are you there? <clears throat> oh, no. oh, actually, like, a, she, she's actually the program officer of at a small video. She just oh, was okay. assisting me. Oh, like okay, I, was, I see. I see. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. How about how about Mitchit San? Mitchit San, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay. So now 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 it's your turn here. How about let me now? Can you read this one? Can 
Can you read this? Uh, right unemployment rate in the U.S. today is higher than it was in 1935. Okay, good. So, what do you think? Is that fact or opinion? Is maybe fact and maybe maybe fact. Let's yeah. see here. Yes, yes. Okay, good job. Fact. Okay. All right, so now how about, can you choose somebody? Can you choose another student? Yes, is. Is Psych Moon? Psych, or Psych, Psych Moon? Psych Moon. Psych yes. Moon? Psych Moon, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So now, great. can you read this? No, person, yes. Snack made delightful pet for families. Ooh, okay, now what do you think? Is that fact or, or opinion? Fact. Fact. <gasps> opinion. Because <laughs> some people think they're delightful, but me, I, I think it's scary. Yeah, but okay. All right, now, can, can you choose, uh, can you choose uh, another student, please? Psych Moon, can, can you choose somebody? Who, who do you choose? Austin Pet. I'm sorry? Hello, Tom. Oh, hello. Yep. Okay, can you read this, oh. please? Yes. Oh, business routinely said originally high price on its products. So outrageously high prices. So what do you think? Fact or opinion? I would say it would be opinion. Yes, very good. Because what, like what you think is expensive may be different than other people. Okay, so now, can you choose somebody? Yeah. Uh, mainly we mark. Okay, are, are you there? Yes, it is here. You said, you said, may, may who? Okay, 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 good, good, all right. So can you read this, please? What do you think? I mean, opinion. Opinion. Yes. Okay. Because whenever you think, when you say when something is better, it's opinion. Okay. So now, uh, can you choose somebody? Um, Bernard. <laughs> All right. So can you read this, please? Who did you choose? Okay, I'm here. Uh, in Arizona, smoky in public place is again the law. Okay, what do you think? Fact or opinion? It's fact. Yes, okay, good job. All right, now, uh, can you choose somebody? Uh, who? Uh, who? All right, can you read that? Hello, so, sir. Hello. Can you read this? Oh, no. Yeah. Nicotine in secretly smoke make the heart beat faster. Okay. What do you think? Fact or opinion? Fact. Fact. Yes, yes. Because this, this can be verified. Uh, from from scientists who study it. Okay, good. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Um, also, mean pet. Okay. 
junior college are a better place to attend school for the first two years than in is a university. Mm, what do you think? Fact or opinion? Fact. Fact. Let me see here. <gasps> opinion. Because wh wh whenever you say when something is better, okay, then that's a opinion. Because what I think is good, different than what maybe you think is good. Okay. All right. So now, uh, can you choose somebody? So who do you choose? Who do you choose? Men like tall. All right. And now, can you read this, please? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um. Go walk, discover in California, and I do for the eye. Okay, what do you think? Fact or opinion? Fact. Well, I, I, you, you said fact? Yes. Yes, let me see here. Yeah, good job. All right, <laughs> now, now uh, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Not anymore. <laughs> All right. So can you read this one, please? Yeah. So Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Fashionities room where the taste of two city was published in 1840. Okay. Let me see here. And what do you think? Fact or opinion? Fact. Now this one's a little tricky because it's opinion oh. because of fascinating. Okay. Fascinating. Because maybe yes. what you think is fascinating different than what I think is fascinating. Okay. All right. So now uh, can you can you choose somebody? Yes. Kind of yet. Okay. All right. Can you get, can you read that? What does that say? Man. So, Michael. Michael Jordan is the great basketball player in the story of the NBA. Okay. What do you think? Fact or opinion? Opinion. Opinion. Let me see here. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, next, can you choose somebody? Okay. Can you read this? There is currently a shortage of science teacher in the state of Florida. Or Florida. Florida. Mm -hmm. Florida. Okay, what do you think? Fact or opinion? Uh, opinion. <gasps> Fact. Oh, okay. All right. So now, uh, can you choose somebody? What? Uh, choose. Mm. Nina Dajo. Okay. Yes. All right, now can you read this, please? I choose Nina Dajo. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I assist in the student to share an answer. Okay, can you read this, please? Okay, in 1970, about 30% parents were enrolled in the daycare program in Miami Dade County. Okay, Miami Dade County, good. All right, now tell me, is that fact or opinion? Fact. Fact, good job, very nice. All right, now, now I want you, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Okay, and I show you. 
Okay. Can can you read the screen, please? Are are you there? Answer is not okay. showing, sir. I'm sorry. What? No question in the screen. I know. No, well, I just want you to read this. Can you read this right here? What is paraphrasing? Okay. So, what do you think? What what, what is paraphrasing? Do you know what paraphrasing is? Paragraph. Do, do you know paraphrasing? No. No. Okay. So now I want you. Can you read this, please? Rewriting a piece of text in your own words while retaining the meaning is usually similar in length to the original text. Mm, okay. Good. So when you paraphrase yeah. something, is that you keep the same idea? the same general idea, but you say it in a different way. All right, so now, yeah. oh, can you read this? What is synonym? Ooh, now do you know what a synonym is? Synonym. Do you know synonym? Uh, synonym? Synonym is the same meaning. Same meaning, yeah. Okay, all same right, good. Same meaning, different sound. Can you read this? Same so a word. A word or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word or phrase in the same language. For example, shut is a synonym of close. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So now when, when we write an IELTS essay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to paraphrase a statement. So now what we're going to do is we're going to practice... Okay, we're we're gonna practice paraphrasing. All right. So now, um, now, now can how about I'll choose? How about Su Sung Su? Are, are you there? Su Sung Su. Yes, sure. Um. Okay. C can you can you read right here? They need yes, the new cash to the grocery. Then I would like to choose cash instead of money because cash is the same meaning with money. So they needed money to pay for their groceries. Oh, perfect! Very nice. Okay, yeah. now, uh, now, uh, Su Sung Su, can you choose somebody? Uh, uh, sure. I would like to choose Ang Xin Tan. Ang Xin Tan. We had to stay here on the first. Yes. All right. So, can you read this, please? Yes. So we, it, right? so we we had to oh we had to stay in our class until it was over. Okay, so now what, what's a synonym for stay? So down below here, which word is a synonym for stay? To wait. Yeah. Let's see here. Perfect. Very nice. Good job. All right. So now uh, can you choose somebody? Yes, of course. So, okay, so. You said you Is said. Okay, so. All right. So, can you read right here? So, who, who uh, did you choose? You okay, said. So. Who so? Yeah. Who so? Are you there? <gasps> They're not here. Okay, how about, how about I'll choose somebody else? How about, uh, how about Saik Mon or Saik Moon? Saik Moon, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, can you read this? Please? The glossy decoration looks pretty on the tree. What's a, what's a synonym for glossy? Shiny. Shiny, let me see here. All right, good job, very nice. Now, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Su Sung Su. Ah, Su Sung Su. Are you there? Yes. 
together. So the smell of the garbage was horrible. So I would like to choose um, stink. Stink. Yes. Okay. Good job. All right. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Okay. And let me choose. Nini Moon. Uh, Nini, you said Nini Moon? Yes. So, Nini Moon, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Can you read this, please? It was a gloomy day. Mm, so, what's the synonym for gloomy? What do you think? What's the synonym for gloomy? Crowded. You, you said you said crowded? Yes. Let's see here. Oh, sad. So sad. Sad, sad means gloomy. Yeah, but okay. So like outside, if, if it looks very dark in the sky, very cloudy, we say gloomy. And so Gloomy and sad are, are very similar. Okay, so now how about I'll choose somebody. How about is it is it Pu Puint San? Yes. Okay, can you read this please? Uh, we had to classify the shakes we met today. Mm, now what, what's a synonym for classify? Um, I think it's order. Order, perfect, very nice, good job. Now, now can you choose somebody? Mm. Yes. Uh, um, Sumiat. You said su Sumiat? Yes. Sumiat, are you there? I'm here, sir. Okay, good. Yeah. Can you read this? The school bus is all the way packed. Now, what's a synonym for packed? Crowded. Crowded, yes. All right, very nice, good. All right, uh-oh. So now, now, Sumia, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Melowi man. All right, so, oh, so Min Lawi Marn, are you there? Yes, uh, I'm here. Okay, can you read this, please? Mm, what is a thesis statement? Okay, now, can you read right here? So the thesis statement. The uh, thesis statement is the setting that has the main idea of the essay. It can be compared to a public sentence which gives the main idea of a paragraph. The thesis statement can express an opinion, so there is an effectively way to bring people different cultures together and learn about one another. It can also state an argument or fact to be defended or explained. There are several ways that technology has made classroom instruction more effective. As previously stated, it is the last sentence of the introductory paragraph. Okay, all right. So when we write a thesis statement, and this is gonna be the, the second sentence of your introductory um, paragraph for an IELTS space essay, okay? So in, in, a, in a typical academic essay, you're gonna want your thesis statement to be the last sentence of the first paragraph. But the thesis, uh, but the, an IELTS essay has a different structure. And then we're going to go over that at the end of class today. Uh, but for a an IELTS based essay, it's going to be the thesis statement. It's going to be the middle sentence of the um, introductory paragraph. Okay. All right. So how about next? Okay. How about okay? Me pawa mo. Are you there? Me pawa mo. Oh, sorry, mi, mi paka mo, sorry. Mi paka mo. Yes, sir. Okay, can you, can you read this, please? What is 
So what do you think? So which sentence is the thesis statement? Is it the first sentence, the second one, the third one, or the fourth one? Which sentence is the thesis statement? Which one? Which one do you think? Uh, you said the first that. one. Which one? Yeah. The first one. First one. one. Oh, the last one. Okay. So last to create, one. yeah. So last now, one. yeah. So now remember, in a typical academic essay, the thesis statement it's going to be the last sentence of the first paragraph. All right. Okay. How about, how about next one? How about Fet Hatar? Can you read this one? Yes. Oh, everybody know the koala, the koala, the that cute Australian animal that resembles the teddy bear. Although koala look like twice, they are actually straw climber and spend their days in the tree trunk. Mother koala carry their babies around from tree to tree in a bush or pocket on their stomach. Although there were millions of koala in Australia in the past, they are now a protected species of animal as a result of human population growth, deforestation, and hunting. The number of koala has de declined. Declined. Okay. All right. So tell me, which sentence is the thesis statement? This is the last one. Maybe the last one? <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Very good. All right. Now, uh, can you choose somebody? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. I'll be. Alti teacher. Uh, you said Alti? Yes. Al okay. Can, can you read this, please? Yeah. So, Taoism. Taoism is an Asian philosophy. Asian philosophy for Asia. The place create important importance of the nuclear war. Tosin believe the spirit can be found in every person or thing living on new living. For the for the top even a mountain of a stone contain contain spirit. Also tell a Right, 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 there and oh. possible, possible, okay, possible. Said people follow us, us follow heaven, heaven follow the top, the, the top follow what in nature for the concern of Yia in China and other Asia country. Great have great have been an important way to create a peace 
where people can feel the spirit on the nature wall. Creating a creating a top grade in and up. Down to top grade uh I, I suddenly I suddenly a light bed or the top grade include for a center an entire element. Whether mountain, believe, and bring bridges. Okay. All right. Now tell me which sentence is the thesis statement? Which sentence is the thesis statement? What do you think? The last sentence. Last sentence. Okay. All right. Very good. Good job. All right. <laughs> Okay, so now we're only going to go through a couple of these, uh, but let me see. Let me choose somebody here. How about how about Cho San? Cho San, are you there? Cho San. Yes. All right. I'm here. Can you can you read this one, please? Um, climate be strong. Okay. What do you think? Is this strong or weak? Weak. Weak. Let me see here. Weak. Yes, very good. Because it's too general. So we need more information. So for example, what kind of crime, where it happens. Okay. So now Chosan, okay, now can you choose somebody? Pupuisen. Um, Pupuisen? Poop. Yes. Okay. Can you read this, please? Uh, yeah. Child digits is a good order. Mm, what do you think? Is it strong or weak? I'm not sure, but I think it is a strong one. <gasps> weak. Okay. Because I what what I would recommend is that if you're gonna write a thesis statement. Maybe don't don't use the word good, because good it's it's a little bland. What I would use is I would try to use a stronger adjective, okay. But also good if you do think someone or something is good, you want to tell us why why you think they're good, okay. All right, we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna do one more here. So Pooh, can you choose somebody? Who do you choose? Esther. Hello. Hello, Esther. Oh, Esther. All right. Can you read this one, please? History is an important subject. Ooh, what do you think? Um, I think it uh, important subject. So it it might be uh, weak. Oh, strong. No, strong. Yeah. Strong. Okay. And why? Why do you think it's strong? I think uh, this sentence use an adjective important. So important. Is uh, like essential subject, so that's why I think strong. Yeah. Let me see here. <gasps> Weak. Okay. So now remember, oh. if you think something's important, tell us why it's important. Okay. You 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 need to tell us why in, in your thesis in your thesis statement. Also, history. Again, that's very that's very a little too broad. So you need to say, for example, you have, you know, you have. Um, Thai history, you know, you have Australian history, of course, then you have Burmese history. So you have many different perspectives. So basically, we need to be try to be more, um, uh, more descriptive in what you're trying to say uh, with your thesis statement. So you don't want to be too broad. So now we're going to jump ahead. But well, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you guys, I'll post this PowerPoint into the um on the facebook group so you guys can practice this um on your own but we're going to jump ahead to the because we're running a little short on time i'm not sure if the zoom if they have a time limit on on how long we can do this uh, so i want to make sure i cover the ielts section here okay all right so now how about um how about Clara? Clara, are you here? 
Yes. Hello, sir. I'm here. Okay, good. Can you read this one, please? Okay. Um, an IELTS based opinion essay should have four paragraphs. And the first paragraph is the introductory paragraph. This paragraph should have three sentences. Okay, and now sentence number one. Um, paraphrase question. Good. Sentence two. Uh, this is statement. Okay, and then sentence number three. Outline statement. All right, good. Okay. So we say this. Uh, we call this IELTS, okay? Okay, so now when, when we're writing an IELTS essay, it's gonna have a different structure than a typical academic essay or then, or if you guys have been studying for the GED, it's a different format. But the thing about it is, is that if you have, if you're gonna be, uh, if you wanna enroll into a, like a Thai university in the future, uh, many of the many most of the universities they require you to take an IELTS test, um, and so generally speaking, most of them they require a B two level. Okay, and so with 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 what I'm going to teach you is that uh, in this ten week course, I'm going to teach you how to write um, a, a IELTS based opinion essay. Okay, and so I'll, there's eleven steps to this process. And if you follow these 11 steps, you will get um, a B2, at least a B2 score on, on your IELTS test. So I've, I've been using this system uh, since last summer. And I've, I've had only one student who did not get a B2 on, on, their, um, on their IELTS writing. And that was beca because the student didn't, didn't come to class. Okay, so this system, it really works. Just follow the um, structure, okay? So we already talked about a little bit about paraphrasing. So remember paraphrasing, this is when we, when we state something, we restate it with the same idea, but we use our own words by using synonyms. And then sentence two, this is your thesis statement, okay? And we'll cover that here in a little bit. But first one, let's cover the paraphrase question. So how about, how about uh, Sue Sung Sue? Are you still here? Yes, I am. Okay, C can you read this, please? Yes. Sentence one: Paraphrase question. In order to paraphrase the question, we simply restate it with our different meaning using synonyms. All right. So, so you you uh, you change your picture. Be be before yeah. before it's dry moon. Now it's just SS. But okay, all right. So now, uh, can you can you read this one right here? Sure. Students are becoming more and more reliant on the internet. Why the internet is convenient? It has many negative effects, and its use for educational purposes should be restricted. How far do you agree with this statement? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you you're going to be given um, something like this. So if if now, there's, there's about five different types of IELTS-based essays, but the most popular one is an opinion-based essay. So that's why we're going to focus on the opinion uh, for this 10-week uh, uh, ten, ten um, writing workshop, okay? So you're going to be given a question like this, okay? And so what you need to do for the first sentence is you need to paraphrase this statement, okay? So you need to restate the statement um, keeping the same general idea, but say it in your own words by using synonyms. Okay, so let's go to, how about, how about, how about A. Nadi Chan? A. Nadi Chan, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, can you read this, please? Possible paragraph question. Or say, Possible paraphrased question. Can you say paraphrased? Paraphrase. Okay, good. Now let's read this. 
It is argued that the internet is beneficial for teaching and learning because there is so much information available. available. Why are people that the internet can be harmful to students? Okay, all right, very nice. Okay, so what this is right here is if we go back here, so this is the original statement, and this right here, this is just a paraphrased version of that question, okay? And so I would recommend using a phrase like this to start off your essay. Um, it's very, this will uh, make it easier for, for the assessor to understand what you will be saying. So I would start off your IELTS based essay with, it is argued that, or it is believed that, or many people believe that. So that this is very helpful for the assessor. Um, Cause I will let you know is that when you take an IELTS test, uh, when, they, when they assess, your writing, when they will, when they when they will uh, decide what kind of score you will get, they will spend probably two to five minutes on it. So very short time. Okay. So if you make it easy for them to understand what you're trying to say, then your then your possibility to get a higher score is better. All right. Okay. So now sentence number two. How about how about Kain Q Miet. Kain Q. Are you there? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Can you read this, please? Yeah. And a first date. And a first date. Is that a man short Sunday as forbid me idea flat and opinion? Okay, good. Yeah, so these are the two things. Make sure your, um, uh, your thesis statement has a topic or main idea plus an opinion. Okay, so now, can you read this here? Yeah. This essay agree with the idea that the internet is significant for students to develop their academic skills. Okay, just be careful. This word right here, beneficial. All right, so uh, another thing I would recommend, this phrase right here, very, very important. So this essay agrees with the idea that, okay. So this one right here, if you use this phrase, either this essay agrees with the idea that, or this essay disagrees with the idea that. So if you use this, these phrases, it will make it very easy for the assessor um, to know what you will be talking about, okay? So they will understand what your, um, what your opinion is, okay? All right. So now how about kind, cue, Matt? I want you, can you, can you choose somebody? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, who did you choose? Yes, I'm here, sir. Oh, good. Oh, good. Now, can you read this, please? Yes. The center outlines what you will write about in the main body paragraph. Okay, good. Now, let's read this. First, students can have access to information much more easily. And second, the internet can be a vital source to develop an individual's resource skills. Very nice. Very good. Okay. So this right here, where it says, Students can have access to information much more easily. Okay, this is actually going to be your topic sentence for body paragraph one. Okay, then the internet can be a vital source to develop an individual's research skills. This will be your topic sentence for body paragraph two. Okay, so by having your outline statement, by stating the um, topic sentences for your body paragraphs, then it's going to make things a lot easier. You're going to make your, um, you can use your time much more efficiently. And most of all, it will let, it will let the person, the person who's grading your, your writing, make it easier for them to understand uh, what you will be discussing. All right. So now, uh, now, 
how about one more person here? Let me choose somebody. How about, how about Tin Nyo Chan? Tin Nyo Chan, are you there? No, okay. All right, I'll just go to Su Sung Su. Are you still there? Yes, yes, okay. I am. Okay, can you read this, please? Yes, introductory paragraph. It's argued that the internet is beneficial for tuition and learning because there is so much information available, while others believe that the internet can be harmful to students. This essay agree with the idea that the internet is beneficial for students to develop their academic skills. First, students can have access to information much more easily. And second, the internet can be a vital source to develop an individual research skills. Okay, all right, very nice. Okay, thank you. All right, so th this is your introductory paragraph for an IELTS, that IELTS based essay. So it's actually not so hard, okay? Once you remember, Let's go back here. Once you remember the structure of it, like this right here, this is your introductory paragraph. So only three sentences, okay? Then once you remember the structure of this, it's very, it's very easy, okay? So just take practice, all right? So what, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you homework, okay? Um, it's very similar uh, to the pretest um, that you guys took. Uh, we're going to use, I'm going to use a, a Microsoft form. So I will post the link to that onto the Facebook group. All right. So um, there's going to be, there will be two assignments. Okay. That we'll have, uh, or two, I should put, there'll be two, um, two activities that, that you need to complete. Okay. One of it, it's going to be, be a pre-writing exercise. And the other one is going to be a, um, an essay writing exercise, okay? So I want you to do that. I will post that, on, I'll post the link for those onto the Facebook group every Sunday night, okay? So then what you guys do by yourself, you're gonna complete the pre-writing exercise and the writing exercise, okay? Then when you meet your mentor, you'll, you'll meet with your mentor and they will give you feedback on your pre-writing activity, and also your writing activity. Um, and then after that, um, you will get feedback from your team leader, okay? Um, then after you get all that feedback, then what I want you to do is you're gonna submit the writing one more time, and, and then that's what, when I will receive it, okay? And then you that's due every Friday night, okay? So again, I'm gonna post, post the, the links for the assignments um, on Sunday night, okay? And then what you do is you give that, um, um, the, uh, uh, your writing exercises to your mentor, they will give you feedback, and then you'll get feedback from your team leader. Then after getting the two rounds of feedback, you will submit the writing to me every Friday night. And then we'll, we'll, we will repeat this 10 times, okay? And, and then we'll be finished with the study, okay? So let me see real quick here. Um, I want to see. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, so again, only 57 of you have finished the, um, uh, the, um, writing pretest. So I need you guys, if you haven't finished the, the, the pretest, please finish that, okay? Um, so then hopefully um, tonight, at least three of you will finish that because then I need 60 students to, and I, I'm, I'm gonna create one group of 30 students, another group of 30 students, okay? Um, and, then, and then I will let you know which ones will come uh, to see their mentors in the, in the AM session. Again, that's going to be from nine to one. And then who is going to meet with their mentors in the evening, which is from five to nine. Okay. And let me just cover this again one more time. For those of you that came late. Okay. 
Um, so th this is where you go. This is where you go to um, get uh, to find out who you want your mentor to be. Okay. So this is the main page. So this just gives some information about about the um, RSC Language Center. Okay. But what you what you do is you click on here with, where it says student peer mentor. You click there. Um, and again, like what I told you at the beginning of class today, the website's not finished yet. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, my plan is for it to be finished by Sunday night, but it takes a long time. Um, okay. So let's say, for example, you want, let's say Tuesday PM. Okay. So you're looking through here and you see, oh, here's film. I like film. So I, I want film to be my mentor. Okay. So if that's what you want, then you look at film, then you find out her team leader is Kant C. Hein. Okay. So then you, what you have to, then you have to contact your um, team leader. So then you go back to the student management team and you got to find Kant C. Hein. Where is she at? Ah, here we go, right here, this guy. Okay. So then what you do is you, you, is you contact him. And then if you guys have Line, you can contact him here on Line or, or on Facebook. Okay. Um, and then what you do is you say, say, hey, Henry, uh, I would like my mentor to be film. Okay. Can you help me with that? Okay. And then, then he will, he, what he will do is he will help you get in contact with film. Okay. Uh, but uh, you, you can also contact your mentor directly um, because it does have their, here you have their line ID and the Facebook, Facebook name. Uh, but I would recommend first to contact um, their team leader. Okay. So that they can, they can help arrange everything. Okay. All right. So are, are there any questions about today? You guys have any questions? Yes. yes. Or tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yes. Or tomorrow we have class, don't we? Uh, no, no, not with me. No, not with me. So uh, again, what you do is you, uh, you have a class with me every Saturday night at this time. Okay. Um, uh, 4 and, p.m. Yeah. Yeah. 4 yeah. p.m. 4 p.m. Thai time. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, yeah. and then what you do is from Monday through Friday, you're going to meet with a peer mentor and you, you choose who you want your peer mentor to be. Uh, can I, can I write the, this, can, can I write essay and send, send to T Linda? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what's going to happen is uh, you, you're going to, you're going to do the pre-writing activity and the essay. Um, then first you're going to send it when you, when you meet together with your, with your peer mentor, then you will send oh. it, you will send it to them. So first your, your peer mentor, then they will give you feedback. They will say, oh, well, you, you did good on this part. Oh, but this part, maybe you need to change this. Okay. Uh -huh. Then after that, um, then you, then you um, contact your team leader. So in this case, if, if, you wanted, uh, um, if you wanted film, it would be this guy, Henry. And then he will also give you feedback. So you, you get two rounds of feedback. Okay. Two times. Yeah. Okay. Two times. And yeah. And then on Friday night, you turn your writing into me, okay, after you've gotten your feedback, okay? Yeah, teacher. Okay, good, all right. Next question? Uh, no. No, I, I think it, it, yes. it's, yes? It's okay. from me. Yeah, you said we have to like join with our mentor, but you say you are going to separate us into two groups, morning section and evening section, yes. but till now you haven't yet, so, can we choose the mentor by our own and the day that we are available by ourselves? Or will you do that? Oh, no, 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 no. It, it, this is part is different than, than last term, okay? Uh, you, you get to choose your own mentor, okay? So I can choose any day of any member that I'm available with. Yes, yeah, and each, each, week, you, each week you can choose one mentor, okay? Um, and then, it's up to you. You have more freedom, um, uh, and, and then if you like your mentor, you can you can keep them, or or the next week you can change. 
okay? Because what we have here is there's, I'm hoping we're gonna have at least 60 students uh, in this workshop, okay? But from our side, we have 250 people that wanna help you, okay? Because we have about 200 uh, mentors and then we have about 50 team leaders, okay? Um, so again, that, that's why it's taking me such a long time mm. to finish the website because we have so many, so many mentors. Um, so yeah, you have 200, 200 different mentors uh, to, choose, um, to choose, okay? And each week um, you, can you can choose one mentor and then each week after that, you can choose a different mentor if you want to, okay? Yes, I'm clear. Uh, another, another suggestion, can you please make a group in Messenger? Because it's a kind of difficult to search back the information that you just post or comment in the Facebook. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. If we have like specific like messenger chat box with a group, so you can upload anything there and it's easier for us to get the information. Okay. Like now we have to search back the Zoom link. Yeah. Okay, okay, sure. That's one suggestion. Okay, yeah, okay. So what, what, what I'll do is, that, that's a good idea. I, I'll, create, uh, I'll create two messenger groups, okay? Um, oh, one for AM, yes. one for PM because I wanna let you guys know is that for the AM and PM, for the pre-writing activity, it's gonna be different, okay? So that, that's, why, that's why when I put you in, into the group, I want you to stay either AM or PM, okay? But yeah, yeah, it's a yes. good, 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 good idea. On, I'll, I'll, create the, I'll create the two messenger groups uh, tomorrow, okay? So will you post the like, assignment? Uh, yeah, again, I, I, I post that every Sunday night. No, um, I mean, where? You, uh, well, Facebook I, or, or no, I, I can online? Po yeah, I, I can post it. I'll post it in the messenger group. Uh, yes, that would be great. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe that's easier, okay? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, yes. sir. Uh, can you upload the assignment that we have to do both messenger and Facebook? Sometimes, uh, you know, the a lot of speaking in the messenger, so I can search, I can easily find the assignment. That's why can you upload the assignment um, in the Facebook too? Okay, sure, no problem. The Facebook too. Sure, yes. yeah, I, 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 can, I can do it to both. Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, and then also, um, um, yes? Yes, bear with me one question. Uh, where can I find peer mentor, like my mentor? Where can I find? Oh, no, no, that, that's right here, okay? So you, you go to this website here, and then what you do here, you click here where it says student peer mentor. You click this, and then you, you can choose the time that you want. Now look right here, Tuesday AM. Okay, well, I, have, I haven't finished this one yet, um, but I finished. Can you upload? Hmm? Yes, sir. Can you upload the um, website in the Facebook group? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So again, again, you guys, uh, the website should be finished Sunday night, uh, tomorrow night. So you, you come back then and you, you can choose your mentor. Okay. All right. Um, uh, and uh, yes. Yes. A anything else? Uh, teacher, can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What should I do between Monday and Friday? Monday to Friday. Uh, Monday and Friday. That's that's when you you meet with your mentor. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, you meet with your, with your mentor. You, you get to choose. You choose. Ah, uh, choose. Yeah. So again, right here, you go right here. Let's say if you want Monday, Monday, PM, and let's say you want. Oh, I, I like her. I want Carol. Okay. Then what you do? You see her. Yua is for team leader. Then you go back right. here. T student manager. Oh, and here's Yua. Okay. And then what you do is you, you send Yua a message. Say, hi, Yua. I want, I want Carol to be my mentor. And so she will set it up for you, okay? Yeah. And so just, just remember, uh, these are the times that these mentors are available. Okay, so Carol is at, mm. is at let me see here, is Monday at 5 o'clock. Okay, you, just, you, just you have to remember those times, okay?
Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Uh, any more questions? No. No oh. question. Okay, great. So also, I I will um, I'm recording this, and I will post this in both on both YouTube and Facebook, so you guys can watch it again if you want. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're finished for today, um, and I will see you guys next Saturday. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay, so thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Have a nice thank day. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Great day. Bye bye, teacher.